The definition of a function is rather simple. A function is a way to analyze two unrelated sets of numbers. We will call one group set X and the second group set Y. We then assign to each number in set X exactly one number from set Y. The set X is called the domain and the set Y is called the range. In other words, these sets of numbers may be plotted and shown as a graph. Notice that because the data moves from left to right, a number in set X may only have one matching number from set Y. If one value in set X has more than one matching number, then you are not looking at a function. On the other hand, a number from set Y may be repeated, like in the case of a horizontal line, without affecting the function. By this time you may be asking the question, isn't this just another XY plot? No, it is not just another plot. It is actually a special kind of plot where vertical lines are not allowed. Not only that, it is preferred that you call it the graph of a function. In a function, the typical y-axis becomes the function of x-axis, and this is the way we write it. The vertical axis becomes the function of x-axis because, in reality, it now depends on the changing value of x. Of course, you don't have to call the horizontal axis x. You may call it c, or d, or h. But no matter what you call the horizontal axis, the vertical axis becomes a function of the horizontal axis. So if the horizontal axis is C, then the vertical axis is the function of C. And if you change the horizontal to H, then the vertical is F of H. Functions are used when we try to show a relationship. For example, if we want to show how much money is made by working X number of hours, X becomes the domain and the money earned is the range. So the money earned is a function of X hours. We may call the horizontal axis H for hours and the vertical axis then is the function of H. Notice that it is impossible to show two different earnings for the same number of hours. This is what makes it a function. Let's say we work 40 hours at $22 per hour. The equation, of course, is wages equals hourly rate times hours. In our graph, it shows as the function of H equals R times H, where R is the hourly rate. Because the hourly rate is a constant at $22 per hour, the equation is the function of H equals 22 times h. Therefore, in function notation it will show that we want to find the function at 40 equals 22 times 40. And the answer is $880 for 40 hours.